Erin Spain, and today I'm gonna to show you how to build this DIY bookcase. Now this is sort of my spin on the DIY industrial pipe bookcase that you've probably seen all over the internet, but I sort of put a glam spin on it by using the gold. My kids needed a bookshelf to store their Legos and obviously their books on for the playroom that I'm making over right now, so this is what I came up with. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon, and if you have any questions, please leave those in the comment section. All right, let's get started. First of all, I will be sure to add a complete list of all the materials I used in the description box below, and I will link to everything I possibly can. First, I cut my 1x12 boards to the following dimensions, 6 pieces at 3 feet long each and 6 pieces at 12 inches long each. Then I gave everything a good sanding with my random orbit sander. Next I installed the drill bit that came with my pocket hole jig and I drilled three pocket holes in one of the short ends of six of my short 1x12 pieces. These will be the ends of each bookshelf. I swapped out my drill bit with the driver bit that came with my pocket hole jig. I attached the ends to the long pieces of 1x12 using one and a quarter inch pocket hole screws. We're working upside down right now, so this long piece will be the top of the shelf when we flip it over later. After the tops had been attached to the sides or the ends of the shelves, I attached the bottom, and remember we're working upside down, by pre-drilling holes with a countersinking drill bit and then attaching it using two inch wood screws. I wanted to use pocket hole screws on the top side so when we flip it over later, the screws won't be visible from the top. Next, I turned my attention to the steel pipe. I cleaned all of the pipe pieces and flanges with acetone to remove any residue. You definitely wanna do this outside or in a very well ventilated area. Then I prepped my area to spray paint everything. I used a cardboard box and I inserted screws just to help prop up my pipe pieces. These didn't really hold the pipe up, but they were meant to prevent the pipe from toppling all the way over and rolling down the driveway if they did happen to fall. I primed everything with Rust-Oleum Rusty Metal Primer. After the primer dried, I spray painted everything with metallic gold spray paint. This is my very favorite metallic gold spray paint and I will link to it below. And no, I do not have shoes on. It's absurd, just ignore that. I just ran out really fast to spray paint and then ran right back inside. Anyway, just disregard. Next, I used wood filler to patch over the knots in the wood to prevent bleed through later on since I will be painting these white. And you can also patch over any screw holes or cracks or anything like that that you don't want to show. When the wood filler dried, I sanded everything smooth with the sanding block. Then I went over it with a tack cloth just to remove all the dust before painting. I painted it with Bare Marquee Paint and Primer in one in the color White 52. I do typically use a separate stain blocking primer, but for this I didn't bother. I'll go ahead and link to my furniture painting tutorial which shares all of my tips and the best technique to get the most professional looking finish possible. After my spray paint had dried, I went ahead and screwed the pipe pieces into the flanges.
After the second coat of paint had dried on my shelves, I went ahead and sealed it with a furniture paste wax in a natural shade, and I will link to this below. I like to apply it with cheesecloth, so I will coat it and then fold it over and apply it through a layer of cheesecloth. I apply it as evenly as possible and then let it sit for 20 minutes. Then I go back in and buff it with a clean cotton cloth, and an old t-shirt works great for this. I let the paste wax cure overnight, and then it was time to assemble everything. I flipped the bottom shelf over and attached the first pipes to serve as the legs. I used half inch construction screws, and because I'm only using six inch pipes, it's a tight fit, so as you build this, you'll wanna use a compact size drill or longer pipe. I'm using Ryobi's new compact series drill and impact driver, and they worked great. I started by pre-drilling holes, but quickly got impatient and skipped this step for the remainder of the shelves. And then after I attached the first four pipes, I flipped it back over. I attached four more, one in each corner, measuring about a half an inch from each side and positioning it flush with the front and back of the shelves. Then I attached the next shelf using the same method, trying to get everything as straight as possible. I repeated the process until all three shelves were attached. Then I was done and I could have fun styling. Now of course these shelves are not gonna look like this for long because boys, but you get the idea. And now for the outtakes. Find you can modify it, no. show you how to build this DIY. Oh god. Whew. No. Thanks so much for watching. You can find me online at erinspain.com and on social media at erinspain blog. In the meantime, please enjoy some of my other videos.